Under the Form Settings tab for a proposal, you can include a contract, allow the client to choose multiple packages, include an invoice, allow discount codes, add a payment plan, and set expiration dates. You also have some public proposal settings, but we will cover those later in the lesson. Turn the Include Contract toggle to Yes to include a contract that the client will see immediately after they submit the proposal. You can select a contract template from the dropdown. It is not possible to change which contract is attached based on the package selected, but you can use invoice smart fields in your contract to automatically populate the package or packages selected on the proposal. This is a great solution that allows you to create a generic contract template that works with several different types of packages. Toggle this setting to allow clients to select more than one package on your proposal. Leave this toggle set to No if clients should only select one package on the entire proposal. Turn the Include Invoice setting to Yes to include the primary invoice along with the proposal. Packages selected on the proposal are automatically added to the primary invoice when the proposal is submitted, so the invoice will be up to date when the client sees it. This is where you can enable discount codes that the client would be able to enter directly on their invoice. We'll cover more about discounts in an upcoming lesson. Select a payment plan template here to automatically add it to the primary invoice. Similar to the contract, it is only possible to pre-select one payment plan to each proposal as a whole, and it is not possible to automatically change the payment plan based on the client's package selection. If you'd like this proposal template to have a default expiration date, set that here. A relative expiration date will change based on the trigger or milestone you select. A fixed expiration date will make the expiration date be the same for every client if you're doing this on a base template. So it would be best to adjust this on a per project basis before sending it to a client. When a client submits your form, there is a completion alert verifying that they have successfully completed the form. You can customize both the header and the body of this message here. You can decide if you would like this template to be password protected. In most cases, you can leave this setting turned off, since that allows your client to access the form simply by clicking on the link in the email. However, for special circumstances where you would like an extra layer of security, you can turn this option on. Once a form is password protected, the client will need to take the extra steps of first logging into their client portal, then entering their portal password before they are able to view the form itself. If you plan on sending your proposal through a workflow, leave the payment plan setting blank and set the payment plan on the workflow template instead. We'll go more in depth with this in the unit on workflows.
Here's a tip. The easiest way to automate a proposal is to choose a payment plan that will work for all of your packages on the proposal. If you must offer different payment plan options, you may want to leave the Include Invoice option turned off so that you can manually add the appropriate payment plan to the invoice before sending it separately to the client.